Yeah, I mean, uh, we, I thought we uh, I thought we started the game off offensively. We had, uh, um, you know, I thought we were moving the ball well. We were cutting well, and then we kind of got away from that a little bit for um, uh, you know a long period there in the first half, and really dug ourselves a hole. Um, Richmond's a real good ball club. I was happy with how we fought back there in the second half. I thought we had a, a good fourth quarter, and I thought we saw some uh, semblance of how we can play. Um, uh, you know, they just, again, too many points in the paint. You know, they shot 50% from the floor. We shot 35% from the floor. Um, you know, offensively and defensively, we're just not uh, – we're not gelling. I think it's going to take some time when you look at – um, you know, we have Sid uh, Wagner at the point guard spot. She played an off guard spot a lot of the time last last year. Bree moved from the four to three, and then Gabby. I mean, Bailey moved in there to the four four spot. So uh, we're we're just you know trying to work out some kinks. But the you know I thought the team competed hard, and uh, obviously we're disappointed with the outcome. But I thought we lost to a real good Richmond team tonight. You uh, you, you touched on this, but. It in the first and fourth quarter, you played them pretty evenly. Second and third is sort of when they really created the distance. Um, anything you saw different that, that was going on in those two periods that allowed them to pull away as they did? Yeah, I mean, first of all, they're, they're a good club. But I, I think we have to do a better job, Dave, of uh, you know trusting ourselves, trusting the offense, trusting each other um, in terms of uh, – you know, making stops, sustaining possessions in terms of uh, uh, making the extra pass. Right now, I think one of the reasons why we're shooting uh, so poorly is uh, because of some of the shot selection that we're taking. We're not making that extra pass. Um, and then defensively, our, our, our intensity level drops. Now, we're, we're not super deep right now in terms of a roster. Um, but we're, uh, um, you know, we, we got to play longer, harder, you know, on the defensive side and stay more focused and take over what we're doing in practice in terms of scout into the games. Like we got, we got hit on like four or five back screens, um, you know, that we went over and scout and uh, you know, we just let our guard down, our, our focus down. Um, I, I thought, especially there in the second quarter. And you, they, they obviously hurt you in the paint and on the boards and they blocked six shots. Can you talk about how their size uh, dictated what you guys were able to do and, and not able to do? Yeah, I mean, it's the second game in a row that we got, you know, points in the paint. I thought they had 33 points in the paint on us. Um, they're attacking and uh, um, it was not only their post players, but their guards were able to, you know, drive by at times and get paint uh, paint touches off the bounce. Um, yeah, that's something we've got to correct. And it just goes back to, you know, our focus level uh, in games, our commitment to the defensive side um, is just not where it needs to be yet. You, um, everybody had to deal with some, this to a degree because of, of uh, the circumstances, but I don't know how much you guys were able to work together in the summer, um, but, and, and obviously you didn't have any scrimmages that like most didn't. Um, especially having to sort of create a different uh, mentality, uh, image, or something on, on the offensive end by losing your top two scores. How hard has this been to kind of have to do this so, without a lot of prep time? Yeah, well, not having this summer, I think, hurts development. I think, especially the younger kids, um, freshmen, especially. But uh, you know, you get a chance to 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 get in the gym with them and work on their weaknesses. Where here, we kind of whenever school started back up, that's when we came in and that's when we started but no we have to try to find our new identity we're working extremely hard I think uh, um, we've had some really good practices but we have some people and some pieces playing out of position you know, Sid wasn't our primary uh, ball handler last year Nini was a backup um, so we're asking them to be more full-time Bree has moved up to the you know the, the, the three uh, the wing spot for us and Bailey and Gabby who kind of interchange who kind of fed off of each other last year now playing at the same time. So we have some different pieces that uh, I think it's going to take a little time for us to, to gel and find that chemistry. And I think we will because we have, a, uh, you know, high character kids that work extremely hard. So we'll figure this out and get better as the season rolls on. But, uh, you know, not having a summer or a, a true postseason last year, I think does hurt in the development of players. I know a lot of the, the focus, at least for me and outsiders was on, how your offense would be losing your top two scores. But as far as defensive goes, I guess that's that seems to have 
to be a work in progress as well. Well, when you when you look at us in that fourth quarter, how did we score a lot? We scored because our defense was more energetic, more committed, and we changed the game a little bit, and we got better shots, and we shot at a higher percentage. We've got to do that for a full 40 minutes. Um, to, to, to point out a positive, it seemed like uh, Nyla had a, a solid day for you. Well, Nyla really sparked us defensively. I thought she, I thought she got off to a really good start um, on Klimowitz. I thought she did a good job. Um, in, you know, and then, then again there in the fourth quarter, um, you, know, uh, you know, I thought her defense, uh, her intensity, we kind of fed off. And, and Dave, she's another player now that, you know, we primarily last year was more of that uh, defensive specialist and, and off, she had a great year off offensively, but we're asking her now to pick up her scoring a little bit and look for her shot a little more, which, is, which isn't normal for her, which is out of her character a little bit to be that aggressive offensively. But yeah, she had a very good game. Uh, obviously you knew about uh, Klimkowitz, if I'm, if I'm saying her name correctly. Uh, Bud Dick is a, a new kid. Um, I'm not sure how much you knew about her, but obviously she had a very, she was very tough to stop. Her. Very poised. Had a, yep, had a, a real good player. Uh, um, she had a real good game. I was, I was really impressed with her. Clem Kowitz, yeah, is, uh, you know, a transfer from Boston College. And uh, um, she just had 25 last uh, two nights ago against Gardner-Webb. So they got a real nice club. They're going to win a lot of games this year. Um, this is something that, you know, you guys didn't even never lost two back to back games a year ago. This, and is it something that, I mean, it's early, so it's not like the whole season's lost or anything like that, but is, is, do you have to kind of get their spirits up after this? Do you feel? Yeah. I, I you know, I think, it, like I said, they're high character kids. They're upset. Uh, they know they can play better. Um, we will play better. They, they work extremely hard. Um, yeah. Well, uh, uh, you know, We'll have a good spirit. We've had good practices. I, I, I mean, we've competed hard in practice. And uh, um, like you said earlier, not having those two scrimmages kind of, you know, and everybody's in the same boat. So, uh, but it gives you that chance to see things in a non-pressurized situation where you can kind of, you know, fix. So we're treating these two games, uh, you know, we, we watch a lot of film from Old Dominion to, to Richmond. And we'll obviously do the same from Richmond to Radford. Thanks. I appreciate it, sir. Thanks, Dave.